in this quick tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix your Wi-Fi turned on but the connections or signals aren't there so the first way is to go to your task manager on the Windows search type in task manager open it up open the task manager click on services click on open services at the bottom now scroll all the way down now click on something that says WLAN auto config click on WLAN auto config right click on it click on properties and change the startup type from whatever you have it on to automatic if you have it on automatic already click on stop then click on start if you had it on something else and you just change it to automatic right now just click on start and click on apply after then click OK. Make sure you restart your computer and see if that works for you. If it does, make sure you hit the like button. If it didn't, try the second method I'm about to show you. The second way is to update your Wi-Fi driver. You can do this by right clicking on the start and click on, clicking on device manager to go there. Or you can just type in device manager. That's where you have to go to update your driver. So best man should come up, open it up. Then what you're going to want to do is click on the drop down under network adapters then you'll see something that says when a bunch of times or it might be different for you cause I've seen it I've seen different words for other people but if it says the same word a bunch of times that is not your Wi-Fi adapter so that's not what you're gonna update then I have two left I have something that says Bluetooth device and that's obviously not my Wi-Fi then I have something that says Wi-Fi and that's what I'm gonna And that's what I'm gonna update. So I'll right click, click on update driver, click on browse my computer for driver software, click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then click on the latest version. For me, the latest version is 7.1.2020, as you can see. For you, it might be something else, so click on that. Then click next. This will automatically start installing your drivers. When it does, I'll take you to this page and say it's been successfully updated. Then what you're going to want to do is restart your computer and then see if that works for you. If it did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel down below for more helpful content.